Welcome to your practice today. Before we get started, I suggest grabbing a block or two. Definitely one would be handy. So if you don't have a block, you can think about using one of the little bathroom trash cans, just empty it out before, or anything maybe that just gives you a little more height. So when we do some of our balancing, it could be handy to have. And if you don't have one, that's totally okay. You'll make it work and be able to give yourself a nice little laugh when we all fall out of our balancing poses. So get started sitting up on a block if you have one. Otherwise, taking a cross-legged seat if that feels okay. If that's uncomfortable, you can always lie down for the beginning as we explore our breathing. Once you find your seat or lying position, close your eyes. And we'll take three deep inhales through our nose and big open mouth exhales. So deep inhale, fill all the way up. And big exhale, let it go. Again, taking in. And letting go. Last time, deep inhale. And completely release. Now seal your lips, move your breath just through your nose. Finding your ujjayi breathing. So breathing in through your nose and a slight constriction in your throat as you exhale through your nose. Finding ease through your breath, the perfect balance of control yet effortless. Just let yourself settle in to your body, your mat, your practice. And one more time, feeling all the way up. And then as you exhale, release anything from today that doesn't serve or support you, just let it go. You can flutter your eyes open or keep your eyes closed. On your next inhale, reach your arms to the sky overhead. Interlace your fingers overhead. And as you breathe out, turn to the right, using your core, your internal level, levers to turn you. Pause your breathe in, find a little more length. And then as you exhale again, using your abdomen to turn you. Good, breathe in. Exhale, empty everything out. Belly draws in even tighter and maybe you turn further. Good, breathe in back to center. And then exhale, release your arms by your side. And breathe in. Reach overhead, interlace your fingers, taking opposite interlacing, so opposite pinkies. Exhale, turning your chest to the left. All right, so from here, we're tapping into our core to twist us. Breathe in, find a little more length, a little more reach. And then as you exhale, use your core to twist you more to the left. Breathe in. Exhale, even more. And inhale back to center. And exhale, release your arms by your side. This time, inhale, reach for the sky. Then as you breathe out, bring your hands to your mat, popping off your block, coming out of your seat and into tabletop. So finding shoulders 
under over your wrists, knees or hips with. We're gonna take our flipped wrists. So keep a softness in your elbows, a micro bend, and start by flipping your right fingers towards your knees. Maybe you give your elbow a little more bend than you would normally. And if that feels okay, flip your right fingers forward, flip your left wrist. So left fingers towards your knees, a micro bend in your left elbow. And just seeing how this feels in your wrist. If that's okay, then explore flipping both wrists. Make sure that your wrists are shoulders width. So you tend to bring them in and just bring them a little bit wider and put a micro bend in your elbows. Now you can stay here breathing into this opening or you can start to find some movements. This might be some circles or half circles or back and forth. Maybe you explore some cat cows with your flipped wrists. So just taking a few breaths to guide your opening, guide your movement. And when you've had enough with your flip wrists, you can flip your fingers towards the front of your mat and then explore some cat counts at your own pace in your own variation. Use your, your breath to guide you Breathing into any spaces that might need a little extra love, a little extra opening. And you can go hip side to side or explore some circles. And just take a few more breaths to round out anything asymmetrical. So take the other side, the other direction, and we'll come back to our tabletop. Take a deep inhale, drop your belly, lift your chest. Then as you exhale, push into your mat, round through your spine and pause here. Pause at the bottom of your exhale and squeeze your lower belly up tight. Keep the same engagement and as you breathe in, come to a neutral spine. So you might have this slight curve in your lower back. Continue the engagement, lower belly lifting up. Good, exhale here. Next, inhale, right leg extends long behind you. Once you lift your leg, lower your right hip to match your left. Belly continues to draw up. Extra challenge, left arm reaches out in front of you, bicep by your ear. You're going to bring your right leg out to the right and pause here. I want you to lead with your heel as opposed to your toes. So you find this little kind of squeeze in your outer glutes. Belly lifts again. Keep breathing. Next, in the left hand releases to the floor. And then as you exhale, right leg comes all the way to the right, releasing to the floor wherever it lands. Now take a few movements, opening up your right hip, exploring your right hip. Come back to a neutral spine, right leg remains to the right. On your next inhale, lift your right leg, pause here and breathe. If you need to release it and come back up, you can take that option. You might feel a little knot in your right booty. Good, hold. Then inhale, right leg extends long behind you. Exhale, right knee to the floor to meet your left. Next inhale, lower your belly, lift your chest and tailbone. Then exhale, push into your mat, round through your spine, pause at the bottom of your exhale, squeeze lower belly in tighter. Keep this engagement coming back to your neutral spine. So the space between beneath your belly button draws up tight. Good, breathe naturally, keep engaging. When you're ready, next inhale, left leg extends long behind you. Come back to your hips, they need to level out. Then when you're ready, right arm reaches out for the extra challenge. 
You can keep your right arm lifted or always release it for support. Next inhale, left leg comes out to the left, pause. Squeeze from the outside of your left glute. Lower belly lifts, laying through the spine. Good, then right palm releases, left leg out to the left, and exploring your movements into your left hip. Just seeing how it feels. So through this practice, we'll explore a lot of opening of the hips. It's going to be an opening of our creativity. With this opening, and being a new year, being January, being winter, it's also important to turn inward. So as we open up our creativity at the same time, we'll be spending a lot of time kind of turning inward with folding, with allowing ourselves to be in this body of turning inward. Come back to your neutral spine, left leg is to the left. Inhale, lift your left leg, pause, and breathe. Now again, if you need a release, you get the little knot in your left glute, release, come back up. Good. Inhale, left leg extends long behind you. Exhale, left knee to meet your right. From your hips to your heels, taking a child's pose. And then maybe lifting one shoulder then the other just to release any tension you started to hold. And take a moment to think of where in your life you'd like to explore a little more creativity. Start to explore things you might have closed off to. And then next inhale, tuck your toes. And exhale, lift your hips for down dog. Once you find your down dog, take a few pedaling of the feet, lifting one heel then the other. Keeping some awareness into your shoulders. So think about your triceps, outer arms rotating towards your mat. And give your neck some space. So let your shoulders plug into your shoulder blades, your upper back. From here, slowly walk your hands towards your feet. Back of your mat and take a little forward fold hang. Maybe wiggle out your arms, sway your hips from side to side. Bring your hands back to your mat, walk forward to a high plank. Modification would be knees to the floor. Otherwise, find your quads gripping, belly lifting for all of us. Next, inhale, shoulders shift forward past your wrists. Exhale, knees to the mat, lower all the way to your belly. Inhale, low cobra, heart pulls through. Exhale, release, elbows by your side. Inhale, up to plank or knees to plank. Exhale, back to down dog. Hands walk to your feet at the back of your mat again. Another little forward fold to hang, release, let go. And hands walk forward to a high plank. Inhale, shoulder shift past your wrist. Exhale to your belly or knees to your belly. Inhale, low cobra. Exhale, release, toes tuck. Inhale to plank or knees to plank. And back to down dog. Next inhale, left leg to the sky. Bend your left knee, opening up your left hip, and take a few circles here. Now as you open up through your left hip, shift some weight back into your left palm. So feel how your shoulders then become parallel to the ground, 
parallel to your mat, the edges of your mat. Take your circles the other direction if you haven't already. Then inhale, left leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee to left elbow in a high plank. Good, hover here, option to release your knee for support. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, step through for low lunge. Back knee will stay lifted. First option is fingertips to the floor, hands to your blocks. Find your front knee stacked over your front ankle, firmness in your front foot. The quad of your back leg is lifting or gripping. Now the extra challenge airplane arms. Arms lift by your side, a long line from your right heel through the crown of your head. Exhale, rotate your thumbs up towards the ceiling. So palms face out, pinkies down, shoulder blades squeeze. Good, hold and breathe. Inhale, up to crescent lunge or high lunge. Find your balance here, and then when you're ready, on your next exhale, bend your back knee slightly. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Inhale, lift. One more time, exhale, bend. Breathe in, straighten your back leg. And exhale, hands to the floor, back heel lowers for warrior two. So right toes to the right side of your mat. Inhale up to warrior two. We'll take a few extra breaths on this first warrior two. So find front heel lined up with your back heel or center of your back foot. Again, making sure your knee stays over your ankle or behind and in line with your center toe. Exhales to bend into your front knee. Next, inhale the star heels in, toes are wide, arms to the sky. We'll sit back, goddess, knees will bend. Now you can stay here or take the extra challenge and lift your heels, so coming up onto the balls of your feet. Bring a little awareness to your lower back. If you like to pop the booty out, think about tailbone drawing down slightly. If you tend to tuck your pelvis, maybe allow your your booty to pop a little. And next exhale, heels release. Inhale, legs straight, feet parallel. Exhale, fold. Breathe in, halfway lift. Breathe out to fold. If your legs are straight, shift some weight in towards the front of your feet. Think about ankles in line with your hips. We like to kind of just let our legs loose here. So think about inner thighs drawing towards each other. While you put pressure in all four corners of both feet. We're going to travel around our mat. So you're going to yogi crawl to the back of your mat. So now your right toes are going into a low lunge. Right toes face the back of your mat. You're on the ball of your back foot. Now your options here, again, fingertips to the floor, belly lifting. Once you feel firmness in your front foot, option to take a step further, airplane arms. Arms lift by your side, your chest will lift slightly. On your next exhale, open your chest by squeezing your shoulder blades together. Again, thumbs are out from your waist, and then they're going to rotate up. Inhale, up to crescent. Find your balance here. Find your stability. The next exhale, back knee bends, left knee bends. 
Inhale, straighten. Exhale, lower. Breathe in, lift. One last time, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hands to the floor. Back heel drops, warrior two. Inhale, open up, warrior two. To the new left side of your mat. Make your adjustments. If you need to give yourself a little more length to sink in, keep an eye on the front knee. Lower belly draws in, chest broad and wide. Keep the bend in your front knee. Inhale, reverse your warrior. You can high five back, the new back of your mat. Then exhale, hands windmill to the floor. Step back to plank and take your choice of flow here. So that can be an exhale, chaturanga, or knees to your belly. Inhale, chest lifts for low cobra or up dog. And then we'll meet back and down dog, hips to the sky. Inhale, right leg to the sky, bending your right knee, opening up your right hip. Shifting weight into your right palm, and then exploring again your circles, through your hip, through your knee, ankle. And taking it the other direction. And then inhale back to three-legged dog, right leg high. Exhale, high plank, right knee to right elbow. Pausing here. Again, knee to, left knee to the floor for support. Inhale, left, right leg high. Exhale, right foot steps through for warrior two. So once you step through, drop your back heel. Inhale, up to warrior two. Exhale. Once you set your alignment, inhale, reverse your warrior. Then exhale, extended side angle. Reach forward as far as you can with your right hand, right elbow to right thigh, left bicep by your ear. Now your left shoulder rotation, tricep, outer arm is going to rotate to maybe where your gaze is. And breathe. Inhale, legs straight, feet parallel. So think about heels maybe slightly out from your toes. Exhale, fold, prasarita. We're going to do a slight little core work, very short. But I want you to bend all your knees slightly if you like to lock out. If you can keep your legs straight and have a softness in your knees, then don't worry about the bend. You can bring hands to your hips or arms wide for the extra challenge. You're going to inhale, lift halfway, pause here and breathe. Good belly lifting, think inner thighs squeezing towards each other, pushing into your feet. Inhale all the way up, and exhale warrior two to the original front of your mat. So left toes shift to the front of your mat. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Find the rotation through your right shoulder. It's a little cave in your armpit. The chest remains open and wide. Maybe notice how much weight you're putting into your left elbow and Find a little more firmness in your feet to have a little more lightness through your upper body. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, hands of windmill to the floor. Step back and take your choice of flow here. We're going to take that same round a little bit faster. One breath, 
for movement. And everyone's breath is different, so you take your pace. But we're gonna do it to the opposite direction. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, right knee to right elbow, high plank. Back to the sky. Exhale, right foot steps through for our lunge. Inhale, airplane arms, arms lift by your side. Next inhale, up to crescent. Exhale, back knee bends, breathe in, straighten. Lower, lift. One more time, bend, straighten. Exhale, hands to the floor, back heel drops, warrior two. Inhale, up to warrior two. Exhale. Inhale, star heels in, toes wide. Exhale, bend knees, goddess. Inhale, lift heels. Exhale, lower heels. Breathe in, legs straighten, feet parallel. Exhale, fold, prosarita. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Crawl to the back of your mat into a lunge. Inhale, option to take airplane arms. Exhale, chest opens. Breathe in crescent arms by your ears. Exhale, back knee lowers. Breathe in, straighten. Lower back knee. And lift. Exhale, back knee bends. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, hands to the floor. Back heel drops, warrior two. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale. Breathe in, reverse your warrior. Breathe out, hands to the floor. Take your choice of flow, your choice of transition. Meeting back and down dog. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, left knee to left elbow, high plank. Inhale to the sky. Exhale, step through for warrior two, drop your back heel. Inhale, up to warrior two. Exhale, set your feet. Breathe in, reverse warrior. Breathe out, extended side angle. One full breath here. Inhale, legs straight, feet parallel, outsides of the feet parallel. Exhale, fold, prostrate. Arms wide or hands to your hips. Breathe in, lift halfway, pause to breathe out. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, warrior two to the original front of your mat. Right toes shift forward. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, extended side angle, one full breath. Inhale, reverse. And exhale, hands windmill to the floor. Step back and take your choice of flow. Skip it if you want. Take a child pose. We'll meet back and down dog. Take a deep inhale. Bottom of your exhale, heels lift, knees bend, peek forward. Step, hop, float, walk, front of your mat. Inhale, reach for the sky to stand. Exhale, fold through. Breathe in, halfway lift. As you breathe out, plant your hands, right foot steps back for crescent lunge. So back knees lifted, our high lunge. Inhale, up to crescent. Exhale, airplane arms, chest lowers. Breathe in, reach forward. Then breathe out, warrior three, back leg lifts. Now option to go back to airplane arms, using your blocks for support underneath if you'd like, or extending your arms in front. Now think about your right hip lowering to 
Meet your left just as we did in tabletop. Belly's lifting to support. And one more inhale. Then exhale, standing split. Hands to the floor, taking a little fold, lifting your right leg. Now breathe in, right knee behind left, little yogi squat. Exhale, open up, right leg lifts. Inhale, yogi squat. Exhale, open. One more time, little yogi squat. Back to the sky, breathe in. Then as you breathe out, step back with your right foot, lower your back heel for warrior two. Inhale up to warrior two. Breathe out. Inhale, soft straighten through your front leg. Then exhale, taking your triangle pose. So reach your left fingers forward as far as you can. Hand to your shin or to a block. You might reach your ankle. Let's avoid the knee here. I want you to bring your right fingers to your right waistline and pinch your right, right waistline so you have a little more length on your left side. Then from there on your exhale, you can maybe lower a little more. Keep your front leg engaged. If you like to lock out the joints, think about a softness behind your front knee. You can stay here in triangle pose. We'll take it into a balancing pose. So it's gonna be the same shape, but in a balance. So our artisan drops in a half moon. You can extend your right fingers to the sky or hand to your right hip. You're gonna bend into your front knee. If you have a block, you can reach it out to the left of your front foot. You're gonna hop your back foot, and then you're gonna lift your right leg. Now keep a micro bend in your standing leg, your left leg. First think about right hip opening to the right side of your mat, lifted leg just as firm as your standing leg. From there, if you feel like you can extend your right fingers to the sky, great. Gaze can always shift towards the ceiling. Nice, if you fall out, come back, take a laugh. On your next exhale, gently step back to warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. If you want to take it further, left hand can come to the floor or to a block. You can always keep your left elbow on your left thigh. However deep you take it, think about chest staying open. If you lower and you feel your right shoulder caving forward, Come up a level. Next, inhale up to warrior two. Then exhale, hands windmill to the floor. Lift your back heel. I'm gonna walk through the modified version and then I'll walk through our efforting version. So you're gonna step back to plank, keep your left leg lifted. Release your right knee to the floor. So the modified version, just as we did before, left knee will come to your left tricep. So maybe a little higher if you can. Otherwise, just keep it lifted out to the left. For the efforting version, bring your left knee to your left tricep. From there, you're gonna bend your elbows. Pause here. Now extend the left leg back out to your chaturanga and take your flow. If you take the modified version, bring your left knee back to meet your right, and then lower through your transition. Deep inhale, bottom of your exhale, travel to the front of your mat, step, hop, float, walk. Breathe and reach for the sky. Breathe out, fold through. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands. Left foot steps back for our high lunge or crescent. Inhale, up to crescent. 
Exhale, airplane arms, chest lowers, arms by your side. Breathe in to reach forward. Breathe out to take your warrior three, lifting your back leg. Again, your modification of hands, either airplane by your side, reaching out, or blocks for support. You can have a little bend in your standing knee. Find your hips even. Don't forget to breathe. Nice, breathe in. As you breathe out, standing split. So bowing into your standing leg, left leg might reach a little higher. Inhale, left knee behind right, Jiva squat. Exhale, open left leg lifts. Breathe into your little ball. Breathe out to open. One last time. Breathe in, hands for support. As you exhale, step back with your left foot. Release your back. Heel, warrior two. Breathe in, lifts you up to warrior two. Exhale. Inhale, straighten your front leg. Exhale, triangle pose. Reaching your right fingers as far as you can. Keep the length of your spine as you bring your right hand to a shin or to your ankle. Left fingers come to your waistline to kind of pinch your left waist. You want to find this length on the right side as we do on the left side. Right quad stays engaged. Push into all four corners of your front foot. Option to stay in your triangle pose or take it into a balancing pose. If you're taking Ardish and Dross and a Half Moon, you're going to bring your block out to the right of your front foot, bend into your front knee, back foot hops forward, and then you're going to bring your block out even more as you lift your left leg. Now again, keep your block a little bit to the right to support your balance. Find length through either side of your torso. Left leg is lifted, engaged. Left hip opening towards the left side of your mat. Your expression of your left hand. So keeping it on your hip for some extra balance. Extending left fingers towards the ceiling. One more full breath here. On your next exhale, step back to warrior two. And now reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. If you're taking it further, right hand to the floor to a block. Always an option to keep right elbow on right knee. Inhale, up to warrior two. Exhale, hands windmill to the floor. Lift your back heel. So again, your option modified or the extra challenge. You're going to bring your right leg back, keeping it lifted in your plank. Modified left knee to the ground, right knee comes out to the side. The extra challenge. Right leg is lifted, you're going to bring your right knee to your right tricep as high as you can. And you're going to bend your elbows, chaturanga. Then right leg extends to your chaturanga and taking your flow. Modified version, right knee comes back to meet your left on the floor and taking your flow. Once you find your down dog, bottom of your next exhale, travel to the front of your mat. Now breathe and reach for the sky. Breathe out, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, hands to the floor, right foot steps back for warrior two feet. Inhale, up to warrior two. Next inhale, straighten your front leg. 
Find your triangle, Trikonasana. Now I want you to bring a little awareness around this shape. We're gonna take three different forms of it now on our last flow. So you can stay here in triangle or take it to our balancing, our Ardish and Dross and a Half Moon. So as you move into it, if you're taking this round a step further, maybe your hand comes off the block, or again, maybe your gaze shifts towards the ceiling. That's where I lose my balance. So think same shape as your Trikonasana. Nice, next exhale, step back to warrior two, and inhale the star, heels and toes wide. Exhale, Skandasana, bending into your right knee, left toes can lift. You can always lift your right heel. Try to keep your chest lifted here. Blocks underneath your hands will work well too. Right, pushing Skandasana into your left knee, so right toes can lift, left heel can lift. You take your variation that supports you. Back to the right knee, just one breath. And here we're gonna yogi crawl into a low lunge at the front of our mat. Keep your hands on the inside of your left foot or move them back to the inside. Supported version here. You're gonna heel toe your left foot wide, left toes wide of your left heel. Again, supportive version would be releasing your back knee and you're going to take a runner's lunge or lizard. Staying on your hands or coming to your forearms using a block. For the arm balance, the extra challenge, you're going to lift your left toes. So again, taking this modified plank, you're going to take your chaturanga. Now the kind of support here is right elbow tugging into your waistline. Now you're gonna lean your chest forward, gaze to the side so you have room to then lift your back leg. Now you can take your triangle shape, maybe extending your left leg. So taking your hurdler, you can play around with that for a few more breaths. So again, you're in your lizard or runner's lunge, support it or exploring that hurdler. Now wherever you are, let's come back to a child's pose. So for our lizard, go ahead and tuck your back toes, lift your back knee, step back to plank, knees to your mat, toes together, hips to your heels. If you're in hurdler, just Slowly and gracefully coming out of it, finding your child's pose to regroup. And finding your down dog, using this to transition to the front of your mat. Breathe in. As you breathe out, step hot float walk. Inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, fold through. Breathe in long spine. As you breathe out, left foot steps back where your two feet. Inhale, up to where your two. Next, inhale, straighten your front leg for triangle. Exhale, find your trikonasana, find your triangle. So staying here, for a supported version of this shape. Exploring a balancing pose of this shape with Ardha Chandrasana Half Moon. So back foot hops forward and lifts. Again, block out to the right of your front foot. Maybe you take your right fingers off of your block. Gaze can shift up. Think about left hip opening. Lifted leg, just as engaged as standing. Then exhale, step back where you're two. Inhale, star. To exhale, transition into Skandasana. Bending into your left knee, left heel lifted, right toes can lift it, or the variation of left heel to the ground. But inhale through 
your center. Exhale into your right knee, Skandasana. Back to left knee, just one breath. And walking into a lunge facing the front of your mat, hands to the inside of your front foot, your right foot. Now you can heel toe your right foot wide, toes to the right of your heel. Release your back knee for a supported hip opener. You can always, again, lower to your forearms. You can take a block for support. If you're going for the effort here or a little extra challenge, you're going to have your back knee lifted, ball of your back foot. You're going to lift your right toes, so right, taking our modified plank. You're going to take chaturanga arms. Now it's easier to tuck your left elbow right above your left hip. Then lower your chest, lift your left leg, squeeze your left glute. And the right leg can extend however it extends. Right, taking a triangle in our arm balance. Take a few more breaths if you're playing around with that. And then you can always meet in lizard or go straight to your child's pose. We'll all meet in child's pose. So those of us in lizard or runner's lunge, tuck your back toes, lift your back knees, step back to plank, knees to your mat, toes together, hips to your heels. This time, bring your arms by your side. Give your shoulders a break. Take a few circles through your wrists in each direction. You can always rest your wrists on your lower back. And just let your breath move into an effortless flow. No longer being guided by movement. Letting it cycle through naturally. When you're ready, palms by your knees to support yourself up to seated. Hips to one side, legs swoop around, and we'll meet lying on our backs. So knees bent, scooch to the front of your mat as you lower down to your back. Cross your right leg over your left, both knees into your chest. Give them a little squeeze, a hug. And bring your hands back by your side, left foot to the floor, so you can Pick up your hips and move them over to the right. And then take a gentle lower back twist. Now if this is intense, uncross your legs and stack your legs for your lower back twist. Again, hips a little to the right in line with your shoulders. And extend your arms if that feels good. You can look over your right shoulder. Inhale, knees back to center. Uncross your legs if they aren't already. And left leg crosses over right. Knees into your chest. Give them a squeeze ahead. Now right sole of your foot to the floor. Just to support your hips, lifting them up and over to the left. Legs crossed or uncrossed to stack. Lower back twist. Both legs lower to the right side. Arms can extend. Gaze over your left shoulder. Release. Let gravity do the work. Back to center, uncross your legs. 
Bring the soles of your feet to the ceiling. You can stay here with your legs lifted, or you can start to bring your toes beyond your head. So kind of taking this fold, but lying down. If it feels okay on your neck, in your back, you can take a plow. So you'll bring your palms to your lower back, wiggle your shoulder blades together, elbows together, to kind of support yourself into plow pose. So legs are straight, hands can kind of support your back to get into it. Now, if this is a lot on your neck, or if you have any cervical spine compression, please avoid this. So whether you're taking plow or kind of halfway between our feet to the sky. Take a moment to turn inward. The more that we can turn into ourselves, release the stimulation, the constant bombardment of the outside world. The more that we begin to tap into our potential, our creativity, the more we tap into what we didn't know even existed within us. If you're in your cloud pose, just slowly rolling one vertebrae at a time, feet back towards the ceiling. And then all of us will slowly, with one last effort, lower both legs to the ground. Belly draws in. One last effort. Pause when your heels are hovering. And then release to Shavasana. And let go. No more effort. Relax. Trust. And rest. Breath, natural and easy. Nothing for you to do. Just lie here. Allow yourself to release into the warm embrace of the earth. The more that you discover inside of you, the more that you discover around you. I'm taking this time for you, fully for yourself. Rest here for as long as you'd like. Otherwise, begin to deepen your breathing. Find some movement in your fingers, toes. Give yourself a nice long stretch of the arms and legs. Bending both knees, rolling to whichever side is most comfortable for you. And take a moment here, resting. Think about what you'd like to explore within yourself. What you'd like to open yourself up to. And bring that as your intention for the rest of the day. Support yourself up to seated when you're ready. Eyes closed, hands to heart center. 
May your body be strong, your mind open, and your heart always, always full. Namaste.